The legendary BBC commentator Peter Alice, who became known as the voice of golf, has died. He was 89. He won more than 20 tournaments during his career as a golfer and he played on eight Ryder Cup teams before then becoming a commentator. Our sports correspondent Andy Swiss looks back now at his life. At his witty, whimsical best, there was no one quite like Peter Alice. Oh, 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 oh. I think he enjoyed that one. For more than 50 years, he painted golf in all its quirks in his own inimitable style. Sort of built for comfort, not speed, but like myself. Golf was in his blood. His father, Percy, had been a professional. And under his watch, the young Peter soon flourished and became a Ryder Cup regular. But even when he was still playing, his poise in front of the microphone was becoming obvious. Well, I think this course uh, is in wonderful condition at this time of the year. His relaxed style made him a regular on talk shows, where he said the key to commentating was never to take the game too seriously. It has enormous rewards, great sadness, great joy, great stupidity, great nonsense, you know, and, and, it's, uh, and it's really not all that serious. But behind that light-heartedness, there was no doubting his expertise. Played it boldly out there. That could be, that could be magical. When the world's greatest golfers conjured their greatest moments, Alice was the perfect guide. Thank you. For all his supporters, though, he had his critics too. To some, he was the epitome of golf's often stuffy image. They look as if they might be a bit of a handful, those three. But Alice was never afraid to speak his mind. I try to be an observer. I get into trouble for that sometimes if you don't say the right things for the right people. But I look at it and I say, is that right? Is it fair? Is it OK? Does it work? And I'm not afraid to say so. And to his fans, Peter Alice was one of sport's most distinctive and endearing <laughs> voices. And they say the meek shall inherit the earth. A man who captured the drama and the humour I wonder if Mum's put a bit of best butter in there before he left. Like no one else. In a couple of minutes' time, there won't be a dry eye in the house, including mine. The great Peter Alice, who's died at the age of 89.